skincare bag has changed my life and must have for me now. I can't live without, I've talked about so many times. I saw this most adorable thing and I had to show it to you guys. So, so convenient that they come in these little cubes. Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing what's in my travel skincare bag. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel it so you may have noticed that the scenery is a little bit different today and it is because I am currently in Seoul which is really really exciting but it is for work and I can't really film and post and talk about my trip this time. So I thought I could at least show you guys my hotel room, kind of, not really. But I also thought it was a really good opportunity to do a much requested video of what I typically pack with me in terms of travel skincare. I will say it is different every time. It depends on how long the trip is, obviously, and where I'm going, like what the climate is, whether it's summer, winter, etc. But I do still find there's a lot of similarities generally when I pack my skincare. I am definitely a cereal overpacker when it comes to skincare. I mean, skincare is life. There is just like bare minimum options of what I want when it comes to skincare, even if it's for a trip under a week. So yeah, let's dig right into what's in this bag, which speaking of the bag, this skincare bag has changed my life. I bought it just before my Japan trip in October last year. So I haven't even had it for a year, but it has come with me on every trip since I bought it. It's just really convenient and it fits everything that I want. I believe it is called the Jet Setter Bag from Etoile and we will go through all of the compartments together. Oh, I'm also going to be doing my skincare routine while I talk through it because honestly, why not? And I do need to remove this day off. I'm just going to grab my headband out because I literally cannot do my skincare without like putting my hair back. I don't know how people do it without like putting it back. But anyways, when it comes to travel skincare, I have have like a general rule. Full size products, I generally only bring moisturizer and sunscreen in full size and then all the rest I try to carry minis. Now I know a lot of the time minis seem like a waste, like they don't fit a lot of product, blah blah blah. But when it comes to travel, minis are literally your best friend. They're like the best thing to carry multiple products that you want without the burden of taking up your whole skincare pouch or bag. That's how it looks all sitting in there so I still have a fair amount of space I haven't filled it up this time but it can fit a lot more first is makeup remover I always travel with this I mean I use this on the daily but I travel with it especially just because it removes waterproof mascara so damn easy and I've been using it forever it is the hero I make speedy mascara remover I am going to pop this on my lashes real quick I do feel like oil cleansers is something that you are scared to to travel with if that makes sense at least I am I'm always afraid that oil cleansers are going to just like leak in my skincare bag and it's just gonna be a mess I have found like two of the best options when it comes to travel so the first option is a cleansing balm for obvious reasons because it does not spill it is a solid so I do have the April skin carotene IPMP hydro melt cleansing balm this is obviously a mini I took it on my last trip it's not my favorite cleansing balm I feel like it leaves a little bit of a film on the skin but for travel like this size is just perfect so I have brought another one along and the other option is single-use mini cleansing oils they are so so handy so these ones are the fluoresis ones as you can see they just come in these little pouches you don't have to worry about it spilling because it is single-use yes of course it is wasteful and I would probably only take these on a short trip like this trip where I'm just here for four days they are the two options that I found are the best in in terms of traveling with a oil-based cleanser. So I'm gonna cleanse with this one today. Just crack it open and then whoop. And there's like a decent amount. See, this is like probably more than I would usually use for an oil cleanser. So you definitely have plenty. If you're not like moving between accommodation, you can probably get two uses out of like that one capsule, not gonna lie. I didn't really think about that. I have overdosed on cleansing oil. You can see how easy it was for me to remove even my waterproof mascara and eye makeup. See? Look how easy that was. They do also have like a full size of probably pretty much everything that I mentioned today, but they do have a full size of this Floresis Cleansing Oil as well. And it is actually a really nice 
oil cleanser. So I'm going to emulsify. Put a little bit of water on there. And then wash off. So I just removed my makeup and obviously got off everything very well. Typically, yes, I would go straight into my second step cleanse, but I am going to be talking for a little bit and I have like very dry skin. So I'm going to quickly spray it with this, the QL Deep Moisture Spray. This is my second bottle of this mini size that I've gone through in a matter of months. It is so good especially for travel because they have a small size and it is the most gentle, simple, barrier protecting toner. And it's super easy. You don't have to do the whole like put it out in your hand and apply it. So now I have just a quick layer of hydration while I talk a little bit about Coriel who is sponsoring a portion of this video. You may know Coriel already, but they are a K-beauty website that stocks over a hundred Korean brands that ship globally and include one of my favorite brands when it comes to rice skincare house of Dora, and they are actually giving you 30% off the website with my code tina th 30% is pretty gosh darn good isn't it i feel like i rarely get 30% so i'm very excited for you guys that you can shop your favorite k-beauty brands as well as some that maybe you're not as familiar with and that's why i want to talk about house of Dora today which i actually had mentioned quite a bit on my channel before but i saw this most adorable thing and i had to show it to you guys it is their travel kit. It is the cutest thing. When I first saw it, I was just like, I feel like half of the reason why you get minis is because they are just so cute. But as I said earlier, minis are literally so good when it comes to traveling. So if you've been curious about the brand or even looking for like a little set that has everything you need for when you travel in a compact form, this is the most perfect kit. It does have minis of a lot of their most popular products. So you've got the rice bran powder wash, the toner, moisturizer, wash off mask, and then also the mung bean wash off mask, which I actually haven't tried before. But everything else in here, I have the full size and have used them and loved them. So I'm actually going to use the powder wash, which is another thing I actually wanted to mention. Powder washes for face washes are so, so convenient when traveling. The other thing is that you can skip bringing an exfoliator on your trip, which you shouldn't be using any harsh exfoliants while you're traveling anyway, because you just never know when your skin can freak out. Powder washes are the most perfect way where you can get a cleanse, but also a really, really gentle exfoliation. So I'm going to go ahead and use their powder wash as my second step so usually it does come in like a little bottle but it's just in a little sachet this one I actually have been using quite a bit recently it is super super gentle it does have like real rice flakes greens I don't know what to call it and it does actually firm up a fair bit for just being a powder and honestly I can use it morning or night but I do prefer to use it at night time just because I do have dry skin and I don't want to cleanse my face in the morning. So I'm going to quickly cleanse with that and wash off. Now I'm going to just quickly dry off my face and I think we might use the wash off mask because anyone else when you're on location do you feel like you want to do extra with your skincare routine like being in a different element being in a different bathroom I feel like just makes you want to like mm. so I might actually do a multi mask with the white rice and the mung bean which I'm really excited for the mung bean the white rice one I have used so many times it also um, made my top special care items of 2023 last year it's pretty much like the only wash off mask I use these days I just feel like it is a good exfoliating um, like wash off mask while still being so gentle and it also just smells good the texture is so nice so i'm using this on probably my t-zone i haven't covered my whole face but there's still plenty in there and then i'm gonna apply the mung bean which is apparently supposed to be soothing but also can be like good with oil control as well i know i shouldn't be doing that with my teeth but <laughs> Look, it's so, oh, you can't really tell. It's like a nice green. Oh, maybe I should have done it in the opposite. Maybe I should have done mung bean to eat spoon. Actually, no, this is good. I thought it was going to be more like a clay mask, but it's actually not. Oh, 
Oh my god, it smells so good. Is this what mung bean smells like? It just smells so good. All right, well, I think we've got that on and I'm gonna leave it on for probably just like five minutes or so. I don't generally leave on wash off masks for too long because I do have drier skin. But while we leave that on, we can talk through the rest of my skincare pouch. So we went through oil cleansing and then second step cleansers, as I said, I prefer to carry powder washes. Other powder washes that I tend to travel with which I have stored them in this little front pocket here the suicide beauty clear powder wash again just so so convenient that they come in these little cubes and generally speaking yes it is wasteful and that's why i don't usually use them at home but for travel like these take up absolutely no space whatsoever and you can take exactly how many you need and that is it so that is the other cleanser that i brought with me and then we're going to move on to toners as i mentioned earlier this is like a must have for me now another toner that i basically don't go anywhere without is the I'm from Mugwort Essence. This one I can't live without. I've talked about so many times, but whenever my skin freaks out, this is the one that I rely on and it just does not irritate my skin. So I always take this as like a backup in case my skin needs it when I'm traveling. Now I'm going to move on to serums, which I generally don't pack too many. Usually just like a brightening and a hydrating and then a calming if I can. So this time I've brought these again look how little they are they just the B Plain CK to roll ampoule this one I did actually get last time I was in Korea it came as a little freebie with the full size and yeah it is a really nice kind of calming but also helps to prevent breakouts type of serum which I feel like is perfect when you're traveling and then this has been a surprising hit for me I traveled with it last time and I was just like oh my god these are just so convenient rock multi correction hydrate plus plump serum capsules you may have noticed that I have two different colors in there and it's because they're actually two different products the rock one is the blue one in here which is a hydrating serum and then the yellow ones are actually this pixie vitamin c serum it's like a brightening serum and i was just like you know what this container is perfect so i've been carrying both of these but they are two different serums oh it's getting pretty dry and i do like to do a quick little add water and then like do a quick little massage on the skin really gently to get just that little bit of exfoliation. Okay, I'm gonna switch from headband to clips so I look like slightly more human for the rest of the video. <laughs> just so you guys don't have to like stare at a boiled egg for like the whole video. I feel like wash off masks is always a freaking task to wash off. I mean like literally I'm dripping. <gasps> I'm gonna use this. I definitely didn't bring it with me, but I actually met up with Sue today. Look at this. It is a new version of her Sue Good toner pad and she gifted it to me. It is updated. I actually don't know what is updated about it because she actually hasn't launched it quite yet. But by the time this video is out, it would be now. It's always so hard to wash off, wash off masks like completely. No, am I the only one? So I do love using toner pads to kind of get any excess residue off. Ooh, there has been some time since I used the last one. Just doing a quick once over. And the other thing, printer pads I love for is wiping down the neck, especially when you're just like washing your face in the sink. It is very hard to completely cleanse your neck properly. So toner pads are so good for that. A quick little wipe down, oh, so much better. I'm definitely doing more steps than I usually do, but focus more on what I've packed in the bag than what I'm doing in the routine right now. I am going to add a extra layer of hydration with the House of Doha Rice Toner. Again, so cute. But I do have dehydrated skin and that is hence why I'm adding an extra layer. It is also winter in Seoul. I did come from summer in Australia and it's like, I'm pretty sure it's getting to like zero degrees overnight, which is crazy. And I did realize after being out for a day today, I was definitely getting a little crusty. I feel like my skin wasn't quite used to how cold and dry it is here at the moment. So I'm just gonna add that extra layer of hydration, which instantly plumps me up. See? Just toner and already my skin looks so much more hydrated. And then I'll show you guys how to use that serum from earlier. So they both work in the same way, but I'm going to use a blue hydrating serum tonight. And literally you just like get this little guy and tear it off, which sometimes seems hard. Oh no, a little bit sprayed, but you just like, oh gosh, I nearly dropped it. 
just squeeze it out. There is a little bit more in there. I literally just like squeezed it out on my hand when I was like opening it, but. Hyaluronic acid like serum, but it's got a little bit more like an oiliness to it. That's a good thing for me. It's so good, but it doesn't leave like greasiness later. It's just like, see, look at the glow. It gives you that moisture, but it doesn't feel sticky. Side pocket here where I keep all of my like special care items. My lash serum, it is the Majorica Majorica Lash Jelly Drop, which I will use in a little bit. I've also got the Ducato Nail Oil Serum. This is just for my cuticles. I don't always remember to use it every day while I'm traveling, but it's good in a pinch. I actually got my nails done today, so I probably should put cuticle oil on them. Aren't they cute? I also have the Pear Acne Cream because when you travel it tends to um, cause a stress and break you out and this is just my holy grail spot treatment so I'm never without it I usually carry the small size and then the eye cream that I brought this time is the Hada Hada Wanda Black Rice Bakuchio eye cream as you can see I am like so close to being done that's why I brought it I'm gonna pop that on real quick those items I do just usually carry with me when I travel as I said I don't always use it every day but I just hate to be without something when I want it that's just me other side here I've just got my shaver and then a pair of portable like little scissors which surprisingly comes in handy when you're traveling. You don't realize how much you use like scissors until you're in a hotel room that doesn't have scissors. Moving on to moisturizers. When it comes to moisturizers I usually do bring my holy grail gum counter cream because it does work for me in basically like any environment but I did finish up my last one and then my mum wanted the last backup I had and I gave it to her. But this is a moisturizer that I've been testing out recently and it's been really good for kind of nourishment, recovery, strengthening the skin barrier and for nighttime because it is quite rich and I thought it'd be perfect for this colder weather in Seoul and it is the Organocell Peptide Recovery Cream. I also like the fact that it is in quite a small tube. It is still 50 ml, so like a decent size in terms of a moisturizer, but you can see the texture is like pretty thick. It's been a really good night cream. I used it last night too after like 14 hours of traveling so my tip on moisturizer is like use what you know works and like a reliable pretty simple moisturizer don't bring your fancy moisturizers when you're on a trip just bring something simple that's going to help moisturize and protect your skin barrier while you're traveling like that's literally all you need the other moisturizer that I always travel with is again a can't live without I use it whenever my skin is flaring up or I need like a little extra layer the Claire's Min night blue calming cream. Logan and I together did empty this on our last trip so I actually just got the bigger tube that I have at home and like decanted some of it in this so I can travel with it again. Um, I actually haven't used it this trip yet. My skin's been pretty good so I've been sticking with the other moisturizer but this is another one like these two. <laughs> always with me when I travel. They're just like my emergency products. Yeah, I guess that's the end of my skincare routine, but we do have a couple other products to go through in my skincare bag. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. It is like past midnight. <laughs> This is the Ufesta Cleansing Lotion. Basically my cellar water and I use it to do like touch up with makeup and stuff. I just do like to always have my cellar water as well. And then the last kind of proper products in here are sunscreens. I have chosen two to bring with me on this trip. The Hada Hada Wanda Black Rice Moisture Airy Fit Daily Sunscreen as well as the Number Zen Number One Pure Full Calming Water Sunscreen. They are both almost empty as well and I did choose them because they are both like moisturizing formulas without being too heavy and do work well underneath makeup. Sunscreens is something that probably changes a fair bit depending on where I'm going. Like last trip, again, it was only like a week trip, but I took like four sunscreens because it was warmer and sunnier because I went to Okinawa in Japan. And thank God I did because we used like a lot of sunscreen while we were there because we were out like all day in the sun. But this time I've chosen these two because I just need something a little bit more moisturizing. Other than that, I do have a couple other things. I have sheet masks because again, I always feel like I want to pamper and need that 
that extra bit of kind of care when I'm traveling. I usually do just choose ones that I know works for my skin already that isn't going to be like a surprise for my skin when I'm traveling. So I've got the Numbers In number three sheet mask, the Lab Green Flavonoid 2.0 mask, the House of the Wild Rice brand sheet mask. In the other pocket here, I have got, oh, pimple patches. I have the Pinkum One Day Pateka Spot Patch. And then I also have cotton pads and Q-tips because I feel like I always need them when I'm traveling. I have this little bag of Q-tips and then a bag of cotton pads. And the other thing I do is like whenever I go to hotels and they have cotton pads and Q-tips, like obviously they have them for free, like in your amenities or whatever. If I don't use them, I just put them in my travel bag and then I use them next time I'm traveling because it's like, well, well, they offered it to me. So in the back pocket, I actually just have a shampoo and conditioner sampler. This one is the Theratis Night Repair range. I really feel like I should have stocked up on more, but Japan sells these samplers of shampoos and conditioners, like pretty much anywhere, drugstores and beauty stores. And they have so many different types, like literally 20 different types of shampoos that you can trial, especially when you're traveling, it's so convenient. And you can also trial these before you commit to buying like a full bottle. So this was the last one I bought from my last trip in Japan. And I kind of wish I bought more because they are really so convenient and yes that is actually everything in my travel skincare bag yes i know i am a cereal overpacker but that's okay this is what i find joy in like i get so excited packing the skincare that i'm going to take on a trip is it just me let me know if you like that as well as i said earlier the products do change a fair bit but those like little tidbits that i told you about like powder cleansers or like single use cleansing oils cleansing balms and stuff like that those usually do stay the same. I feel like they are kind of like little travel hacks that you guys could implement as well. And as I said, if you don't really come across travel sizes or it's harder for you to find smaller sizes of things, there are brands like House of Dora that do sell these little kits that kind of have everything you need, kind of the essentials for a travel skincare kit. So it's definitely a short trip this time. And yeah, I am sorry that I can't share like everything I get up to, but still I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and check out another one of my videos here because I think you will definitely enjoy it. And I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.